Okay, I'm down here. Well, I was looking at uh, the easy to boot menu again, the uh, ex extras menu, the extra boot options, uh, command line switches that you can just select and use here. Um, don't really see any that I think would make. I was thinking of with that Komodo again, but actually Komodo doesn't have any trouble trying to boot. It gets, you know, as far as like the boot menu part, but it hangs up for whatever reason during the boot. So there's a second one from the top, boot as dot .iso, but swap HDO and HD1. What the heck? The rest of them don't seem like there's any chance of them helping. So, looks like a 1 up there. So I'm going to hit 1. Yeah. Oh, it just took me back to my menu. I don't, re <laughs> don't really remember. Oh, it took me back to my menus. Okay, so I don't, maybe it didn't do anything. Oh, I think you go ahead and just pick one and boot then. Yeah, I bet that's what you do. Okay, let's just do that now see right here is where I was thinking I was when I hit uh, there it is okay I'm just gonna you know I have actually seen some distrust when you if you let them count down they work and if you don't they mess up so I didn't do anything I actually seen more than one that way seen five or more in the last couple of years well more than a couple of years several years five years I've seen Fedora do that to me before. And not in all machines, just some machines. So it makes no sense. But uh, So let's see if it, I think it hangs up pretty quick when it hangs up. So Actually, I never did just leave it alone and it run for 10 or 15 minutes, did I? I can't remember now. I got off on to trying other ones, I think. And I wouldn't think that swapping the... Uh, drive would make any difference though with one like this maybe well except for if it's some sort of problem like it doesn't want to boot because you know it's in the USB and it's meant to be from the CD or uh, see what happens sometimes with them is the ad uh, w the files sim links or hard links are looking for uh, they're looking for the other files and they need and it's hard linked back to like HDO say and uh, can't find them that used to happen a lot when you start trying to boot uh, ISOs written for CDs or DVDs uh, you try to boot them from USBs so uh, but most of them are all you know it's been a while since everything's been made things are kind of made to boot to USB more now than your CDs but not all things um, all ISOs, you know, not all distros, but uh, there could even be, well there's two differences that I can think of here is uh, this is an SD card and a USB adapter, but I've really never had any trouble with some, a lot of them just, I mean it never s seems to recognize that, it seems to only see it as a uh, USB flash drive is what it seems to see it as. I've never seen anything any machines I have that I put it in or any uh, you know distros seem to s recognize that it's different so that I don't think would be the problem but if if the ISO was really written to be used on, on a CD and using it on a USB then that could be a problem with the address so that's when I thought well maybe swapping HDO and HD1 might accidentally help and then like I said I never did wait Sometimes if you wait, they'll end up booting. Once sometimes, so uh, this time I'll leave it right here. I believe it swapped it though. If I understood what I was doing there in that menu, um, I think it swapped it. Okay. Well, let's. I'm just gonna stop this video. Leave it for a while. I'm getting really hungry. I'm gonna eat some lunch. Come back. See what's happening. All right. Bye.